Welcome to the tutorial importing PSD files as separate layers. In this tutorial I'm going to start in Photoshop to show you how to organize your layer system properly so that they're imported into Animate and Animate Pro correctly. So as you may have noticed each of these layers exists in a group. Um, you know this because a group is defined as a folder in Photoshop. So as you can see this is the flower blossom group the tree branches. I happen to rename the layers as well as the group folder, but really the name that will be imported into Animate and Animate Pro is the folder or group name. So this name is really inconsequential. So in case you don't know how to create a group in Photoshop, I'll show you how using the last image in the stack, which is the background. So you go to the top and you click on this little down arrow menu here and select the item New Group from Layers with the layer already selected in the Layers panel as it is here. So when you do that you have the opportunity to rename your group right away and I'm going to call it BG for background and you can change any of the settings you would like here. I'm going to leave them as is and say OK. So now my layer 7 is in the BG folder and all of my layers have been grouped. So let's do a quick save by using the keyboard shortcut Command S or Control S and then go to Animate or Animate Pro to import in this PSD file. So I cleaned up the timeline a little bit by grouping some of the layers just to uh, make it easier visually to see when I bring in this layered PSD. So to bring in um, a layered PSD, you would do the same process that you did to bring in a bitmap image. You could go to File, Import, Images, or click on the Import Images button in the File toolbar. So if you're using Animate and not Animate Pro, your dialog box looks a little bit different. I believe you have a preview window, but the options are basically the same. So you can click on the Browse button to look for your file um, on your computer. So for us, it's the Japanese PSD. I'm going to click Open. And you have the same layer options that you did to bring in a bitmap image. You can create a new layer for this file or add it to an existing layer. In this case, I'm just going to, let's call it BG because all of those things will amount to becoming the background. And in this case, I'm not going to vectorize them, but you can learn all about the vectorization parameters in the previous tutorial, importing and vectorizing images. And I'm not going to create a symbol. You might have noticed also that the options at the bottom here change depending on whether I want to vectorize or not vectorize an image. Um, if you want to know all about the alignment and transparency options, you can refer to um, the first tutorial in the series importing a bitmap image without vectorization. Um, so I'm going to press OK and I get a second dialog box, the multi-layer image import settings. And what this is asking me is if I want to load the images as a flattened image, which is what composite image means, or all layer images, which means all those layers that were separated in Photoshop into groups will remain as separate layers. So that's what I'm going to select. And you also have the recommended transparency, which is straight, and you have the same four options that you have um, in the regular import images dialog box under the transparency section. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm just going to extend my timeline here a bit so you can see it. That all of the layers that I had in Photoshop have been imported into Animate Pro and they are all separate, you can manipulate them separately, and that they have the name of the layer that I gave in the import images dialog box, which is background, uh, underscore the name of the group folder in Photoshop. And as you can see, this is a bitmap image, it's a bit blurry, but if you go into the render view mode, you can see it's as sharp as it was in Photoshop. So that's it for the tutorial importing PSD files as separate layers. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Scanning Images in Animate.